Not long ago, when I Show Speed was blowing up, this man was one of the most hated content creators. I know, crazy, right? Compared to now. And the stream he goes to... I Show Speed! Uh, wanna give a huge shout out to everybody, Ronaldo. Um, take this, take it, take it, take it. Take this. Seriously, no, take it. No, don't cry, please. Don't but at one point, this man was a walking controversial merchant. Wait, wait, all right, hold on, wait. All right, but look, though. I got a, like, a psychological question, okay? Mm -hmm. Say if we're the last two people on Earth and we had to reproduce to make the world continue, would you uh, reproduce with me? No, because that means our kids will have to intertwine and then their kids, no. Who gonna stop me? I will. Who's gonna stop me? I will. If we're the last two people on Earth, who gonna stop me? Jeez. You're not stopping me. If we the last two people on Earth, who gonna stop me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. By doing streams like these, he was at one point one of the most controversial young streamers at the time. But over the years, he has completely switched his image of being seen as this wild, immature kid to being this global phenomenon. How? Well, he became an unlikely hero to many when speaking out about the situation in the Middle East. He's pulling off these crazy stunts like it's nothing. And it comes to the point where if this guy doesn't win a streaming award or gain some kind of recognition, the internet is gonna be on fire. It's at that point now where he made a huge mark on streaming that he's already at legend status, no doubt. The evolution of this man's run needs to be studied. How did I Show Speed go from being known for being controversial to being generally liked by the public and known worldwide? Like who would have thought that Speed is arguably a better person than Mr. Beast in 2024? It doesn't make sense. And if you don't agree, well, let's understand why there will never ever be a live streamer like I Show Speed. Speed's journey began like that of many aspiring YouTubers. He uploaded his first video on December 21st, 2017, which was a simple gameplay video without any commentary. As expected, the video didn't gain much attention. He followed up with a second video, which was also just gameplay, and it met with the same response. Recognizing that his initial approach wasn't working, Speed decided to pivot. It was early 2018, and Fortnite was dominating the gaming scene. He jumped on the trend and started posting Fortnite content, hoping to ride the wave off of the game's popularity. However, this didn't work. He then expanded his efforts to Twitch, but once again, it didn't work. You see, but it wasn't until the pandemic hit in 2020 that Speed's journey truly began to take off. With the world in lockdown and people searching for new forms of entertainment, Speed saw an opportunity. He began streaming daily, bringing crazy levels of energy to his broadcast. It wasn't just about the games anymore. It was just Speed being Speed. You know what? <laughs> Speed's streams were a roller coaster of emotions, laughter, rage, and frustration, all played out in real time for his growing audience. By 2021, I Show Speed was no longer just another streamer. His subscriber count skyrocketed from a modest 10,000 to over 4 million in just one year, with a peak increase of 1 million subscribers in a mere six days. Speed knew how to keep viewers engaged. His signature rage moments or his uh, barking became a staple of his brand. <laughs> These moments, often clipped and shared on TikTok and YouTube, went viral, drawing in millions of new viewers every time he went on stream. But the relationship between Speed and his parents tell a deeper story. While he speaks about his dad with admiration, I love you, Dad. You're my inspiration. That was huge, man. That touched me, dude. JTWX. Thanks, man. Can you say hi, Yas? <laughs> His tone shifts when it comes to his mom. Oh my God. Oh, what are you talking? I just built one. I didn't, I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. I didn't cuss. Okay, be quiet. Okay. You got yelled at by your mom. He, he talking bad about me. You need a spanking. Are you You're a bad boy, Spain. No, my. He... Oh, fuck. Oh. Bye, speed. It's clear that the bond with his mother is more complicated, marked by moments of tension and misunderstanding, especially when it came to his streaming career. In his early streams, his mom would make frequent visits into his room because he would go full speed. We don't know the full situation between him and his mom, but this would leave a saddened speed whenever this happened. Come on! Let's go, bro! Let's go, bro! So now my mom wanna come off the internet now? 
my mama wanna cut off the internet? My mama wanna cut off the internet while I'm sitting here on YouTube doing what I love to do. <laughs> you see how that sound? My mama wanna cut off the fucking internet. <laughs> Why you cut off the internet? Quit cussing. You know why? I asked you to quit cussing, quit cussing. Quit cussing. Do that make sense? I'm a grown ass man. In my room doing what I love to do. Growing ass man. Up and around. In fact, it went as far as Speed's mom wanting him to quit streaming altogether because of the hate comments she was seeing from her son. Speed and her mom argued, and Speed obviously didn't want to stop something that was building rapidly. Alright, man, so unfortunately, chat. It might seem crazy, but I got kicked out, man. I got kicked out, bro. You know what I'm saying, chat? And then you feel me like hold on wait, y'all. Like, let me speak on some real shit though, bro. So basically, y'all, me and my mother got into it, okay? I'm not about to bring it. I'm not to bring the personal information out on YouTube. I'm no longer in Ohio no more. I'm now, chat, unfortunately, y'all. I'm like... Montre donated $4.99 through Super Chat. We don't care. I'm being dead ass serious. All right, y'all, like, for real, chat. I'm being dead ass. Like, I'm being super serious, man. Like, dead ass serious, man. I am gone, bro. I am no longer in Ohio, man. Unfortunately, I, I got into it with my mother and I moved out. I'm actually somewhere. I'm not, you feel me? And I can't. F like, chat, like, I don't even know no more, chat. Like, what the fuck I'm going to do, bro? Like, real shit, y'all. I mean, you could argue Speed's mom had a point. This man was at one point setting fireworks in his damn house, trashing his room, breaking things, going full. <laughs> mode to mom it just doesn't make sense how this works because uh probably the era she was from uh not knowing about the streaming stuff but you know people like us we know how you know you can become successful with the streaming stuff he eventually got kicked out and moved in with his dad in detroit where he would continue streams without the need to hold back from a more chill father his father also knows a thing or two about content creation because well uh, you know when Asha speeds uh meat got exposed his father dropped a track or a diss track on him so uh yeah cool father i guess, I guess. you could say speed moving into Detroit was a blessing in disguise because he had the freedom to do practically whatever he wanted. Speed's big break came when he went to LA in 2021 to live with Aiden Ross for a bit. Aiden Ross is also a streamer, I'm pretty sure you know him. Aiden Ricegum, a YouTuber, found Speed when he had like 100k subs. Aiden was hesitant to bring Speed to LA because obviously he doesn't trust him. They don't know each other, except through online. Obviously, it, you know, it makes sense. When I talked about him, I, I think you were at 100k when I first said that, or 50, I don't know where you were at, something like that. You're averaging like a thousand viewers. So boom, Ricegum hit you up. And at first, like, Rice, I don't want this kid here. I, I, he might be fucking weird. I don't, I don't know who... He just screams and barks. I'm very scared. I don't know. <laughs> so, First of all, yeah, Rice gonna text me, but I'm like, like, come out to LA. I'm like, LA? I'm what? I'm like, where were you at the time? Like, I was. This yeah. was like years ago. So. This was years ago. Like, and I'm, my, my mom's like, hell no. Yeah. You know? I'm like, please, mom. I kept begging her every day, every day. You know, a kid coming out of from Ohio, specifically Cincinnati, coming all the way to LA is like, that's not happening. But yeah, I went to LA. I was nervous. I'm like nervous. I'm talking about heart beating. I just sit on the screen all day. Never met nobody famous a day of my life. You were in your room and then you yeah, streamed. Yeah, you yeah, literally started streaming. Yeah, yeah. Showed her the room. Then Raymond came in. Then like 30 minutes after, I meet Aiden. The oh. cleanest handshake ever, cleanest bro. Cleanest handshake. Literally. That's, that's, that was literally our first time. Through Super yeah, Chat. Right now. I literally just went at that time, Aiden Ross was already a well-established figure in the streaming world and was known for his ability to draw big names into his streams, especially from the music industry. Aiden was the zesty, charismatic streamer who had a unique ability to keep viewers entertained just like Speed. 2021 was prime Aiden, let's put it like that. In many ways, Speed became Aiden's sidekick during this period. Aiden provided the platform, the audience, and the structure, while Speed brought the chaos and the energy. Viewers loved the chemistry between Aiden's provocative humor and Speed's unfiltered energy, which often led to viral moments. For Speed, this collaboration was crucial. Being associated with Aiden gave him access to a much larger audience and allowed him to showcase his style to a broader viewer base. Their streams became must-watch content. This is also the era when the Ash Cash clip happened. 
As Speed's popularity grew, the dynamics began to shift. He started to pull in numbers that matched Aiden Ross. People weren't just tuning in to see the Aiden Ross and Speed duo, they were showing up for Speed also. The more Speed grew, the more he started to step out of Aiden's shadow, becoming less of a sidekick and more of a leading figure in the streaming world. I shall Speed made it. But, Speed was mainly known in the United States. He needed to expand his reach. That opportunity came during a random stream when a viewer asked him about his favorite football player. Speed's answer, Crystal Ronaldo, Suey. It quickly became a viral moment, Ronaldo being the most followed person on Instagram with the massive global fan base. Oh, and of course, a superstar football athlete. He is the perfect celeb for Speed to associate himself with. Football, or soccer as it's known in the US, is the most popular sport globally. Ronaldo gained over 30 million subscribers on YouTube in less than a month, passing Aisho Speed's half a decade of hard-earned live streaming just like that. So could you say Speed is leeching off of Ronaldo? Nah. Maybe. But it's smart though, even if Speed is unaware of how much this helped his brand. No, no, he's aware, uh, trust me. Speed tapped into a vast global fan base. His iconic Sue chant, I don't know if I'm saying that wrong or right, I don't know, I'm sorry. Anyway, it's a nod to Ronaldo's famous goal celebration. It's instantly recognizable to football fans everywhere. In a way, this chant wasn't just a random outburst, it was an accidental and low key, the best move to create a connection with the international audience that might not have otherwise discovered his content. Speed didn't stop at aligning himself with Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He began to shift his content to focus more on football in general. This included playing FIFA, discussing football matches with other people, and making provocative statements about football stars like Messi. Stop! Bro, stop putting Messi! Bro, stop putting Messi in my clips, dog. Stop putting- I don't want to see this! Bro, no! No! I keep asking before I'm not signing your Messi kit, bro. This kid right here. So you know I don't like Messi, right? I don't know you don't like him. I know you like Ronaldo, but you can appreciate Messi being good as well, right? Hey, you know what? Messi, like, really might be the worst football player in the world. Don't ever show me that kid, man. What is wrong with you? What the f you doing here? What is you doing here? Talk to me. What is you doing here? Let's go, baby. The controversy surrounding his statements, such as calling Messi the worst football player in the world, while praising Ronaldo wasn't just for shock value, it was a move to engage fans who are passionate about the sport and their favorite players. Listen, the power of football as a global unifier cannot be understated, and Speed's ability to leverage this is a clear indicator of his understanding of global culture. He was able to break out of the US and appeal to audiences in Europe, South America, Africa, and Asia. These are continents where football is more than just a sport, it's a way of life. Like look at this clip when Speed was in a controversial place when a fake Ronaldo showed up for this crypto scam. Welcome. Ah! No, bro. You think Speed actually thought that was Ronaldo? Or when Speed streamed the World Cup? It was Argentina versus France. Speed wanted France to win, and he didn't want Argentina to win. Simple as that. France lost, Argentina won. Argentina has Messi that Speed quote unquote hates, and he had to wear an Argentina jersey if they won. It was a bet. So look what happens after revealing the jersey. He trashes it. You might not think that's a big deal, but to a lot of football fans, it is. Some random old man from Argentina commented on Speed's video and said this. It gets like that in football, y'all. Speed's ability to go beyond language barriers has been a crucial factor in his global success. Despite speaking English, which is not the first language for much of the world, Speed has still managed to build a big international audience. How though? One of the most effective ways Speed has overcome the language barrier is through his use of visual and physical humor. His exaggerated reactions and over-the-top antics don't require translation to be understood. Laughter is a universal language. For example, when you watch a random clip of this, That's funny, right? Maybe. But it's eye candy. This is no different to Speed's content. When he pulls off crazy stunts like this, 
It's like you gotta watch this cause ain't no way. One of the most interesting things about Speed is how his online persona and who he really is have blended together so much that it's hard to tell if he's being himself or not. When you watch him on camera, you can see he's definitely playing things up. His reactions are bigger, his behavior is crazier, but at the same time, it doesn't feel fake. It feels like he's just being himself, only with the volume turned up just a little bit, or maybe max, I don't know. As he's gotten older and more experienced in making content, we've seen him start to take on more serious roles. Take for example his recent support for the Free Palestine movement shows that he's aware of what's happening in the world and that he's using his platform to bring attention to important issues. While Speed is mostly known for making people laugh and doing wild stuff, moments like this show that he understands the influence he has and isn't afraid to use it to raise awareness. And that, my friends, is why there will never ever be a live streamer like I Shall Speed. His mix of raw energy, authenticity, and the willingness to step outside of just being an entertainer makes him unique in the streaming world. Speed isn't just about putting on a show. He's a figure who's continually evolving and finding new ways to connect with his audience and the world around him.